Fly called an Anagli, which is a fly from Iceland, and uh, it has been fished very successfully on the east coast of uh, Canada and the Gaspi and places like that for Atlantic salmon. So, but this is this is a variant of that colour combination, and it's tied in like a space style. And this is a fly I'm going to tie. The other thing is that I'm going to be using the new Patriot hook from Partridge of Redditch. Now, they're not out in the market yet, but they're not far away, uh, a month or two. This is a size 8. Now, as you can see, it's on a black nickel hook. It's got a lovely bend, and it's got a, a nice straight point. And this is what I like to see in, in, a, in a hook. And as you can see, it's a double. Now, the thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread AO in black. Simply start at the eye. Now, you're going to come down about maybe 4 or 5 mil. And then we tie in some, some, this is just silver wire. Now you could use blue, copper, whatever colour you really like for the ribbon to fly. Silver goes well. Now the body is a blue, it's a blue tinsel. And uh, the silver shows up really well. So, so you can have it the same colour if you don't want to change it. Or add a bit of orange to it. It's up to yourself. Now the tinsel I'm actually using is copper and blue. Uni or Uni Miler as they call it. And this size is number twelve. Obviously it's the blue side we want. So I'm just gonna remove some from the spool. Now you, you can have the face up, blue side, copper side, you can twist it to suit yourself. I normally do it with the, the blue side up. The side I want. And when I do the first turn I make sure that the the angled turn is in towards the body. It just sometimes makes for a nice flat. It helps to get a nice flat body anyway. So you just bring it round. Get it to start with a nice straight edge. Now the angled edge is in towards the body as I said. And then you just basically wind up. If you say if you have a flat body and a good surface to lay it on, it should sit for you. All the way up to about that point. I say around about, I would say, a good four millimeters from the eye. Trim, and then like a good full turn and a half or so at the back. That protects the body. Four to five turns up. Come up against the thread. And that ninth degree bend in. We'll lock it in. At this point I'm just going to put some wax on the thread, help to give a bit more grip. And as well, when you go to wind anything on, the, on that area, it'll sit better for you. Now I've got a, an under ring, and I'm going to use some pearl, crystal pearl or crystal flash, sorry. And uh, basically three strands. Looking round about the length of the hook, just tying that on as the under wing. Two or three turns down and you can fold this pack two or three turns back up. Secure it in. Trim away the excess. I'll just leave it at that point. Oh. Now we're ready for our wing. I'm just going to use some Arctic Fox dyed black. And this is the body fur. So I'm just going to line up the ends and just get I'm looking at a nice white background here so I can see the hair. Now the length of the wing, usually within it's about the hook length, around about that. Uh, the way this fur works, there's quite a lot. Of, there's a nice thick part of under fur, not so much guard hair. So I, I, I kind of ignore the guard hair and just look at the bulk of the wing, and that's the length I'm wanting. So trim that away from the skin. Make sure that's clean at the bottom. Don't want to sort of tie in excess bolt. There's enough bolt there as it is. So 
I say, there's your guard here, you can see your guard here, there. Now, I would say the bulk of the wing is at that point, just to the back of the hook. And then we can come in here and pinch and loop, tie it in. Lift this up. Make sure you get a few turns in so that you can trim away. Just be careful. And you could use fox tail, you could use squirrel tail, you can even use buck tail if you want. Now take this, tidy this right up towards the body itself. There we are. That's it. Now we're ready for our spay hackle. Now this is, I say, it's a dyed blue white eared pheasant. And as you can see, what I've done, if you look closely, it's got a teal blue, a light blue at the bottom. The tips darken to a kingfisher blue. It's quite hard with my blue shirt, but you'll be able to see it. Now I've just basically dip dyed it, so I put it into the blue, teal blue dye, lift it out, and then dyed the tips. Kingfisher blue, just slightly darkened them. And we tie in by the tip. Two or three turns down. Pull back the tip of the hackle. Now the face of the, uh, the feather is facing myself, meaning the front of the, the hackle. And then we're winding one turn in front of the other. Now just see how this goes on. You may have to, have to go back. Sometimes I like to go back. If it's not sitting right, sometimes it sits straight away. Now don't worry too much about seeing the stem. I've got a hackle in front and I've got jungle cock going on. She'll help. Just make sure you get enough fibre there. There you go, that's fine. Now put a 90 degree bend into the stem. Bring the thread turns through and between these fibres. You don't want to catch in too many. And then trim away. Trim, trim it away so you've got at least part of the, the stem to tie in. Tidy up that area. I've just got part of a hackle here, I'm just going to trim it. There we are. Now always paste it. Put a wee bit of wax on your thread. Just make sure this is tied in, you don't want it pulling out. And then just spend a bit of time turning these fibres round. Because as you wind the hackle, they twist. Now we're ready to tie in our front hackle. Now our front hackle is some natural guinea fowl. Now I'm looking for a small soft feather, which I basically get on the sides. Now I don't want too many turns, I want at least a, two turns should do it. And uh, just enough to give the colour. If you have any more than that then you're sort of hiding the fly. And uh, there's a small feather, looks about right. Fibre length, just about short to the wing length. Now what I'm going to do here is just pull back some of the fluff to separate that from the, the hackle fibres, but keep some here, keep this. This gives you a handle to hold the, the hackle. Now when you're tying this fly, you can put the jungle cock on before it. Or in my case, what I'm going to do is put it on after it, so it's entirely up to yourself. Now when you tie it in by the tip, as you can see, two or three turns down, we bit of wax, and draw back tip of the, the hackle, just bring out and then remove. There. And then we're going to fold back these fibres. Now you're only going to get a couple of turns, turns out of this. I'm just going to moisten these fatness fluff so that I can keep it out of the way. And as you wind, you just basically hold the hackle as you, as you go. That's a, like a ideal hackle. Cross 90 degree bend into the stem. Pick it down. Now I'm just going to put a wee bit of wax on at this point. This gives you a wee bit more grip. Take it up. Get the thread tight and you can break that off. And there we are. Got a reasonable hackle, nice hackle. That's fine. I'm going to be ready to put our jungle cock on. Now I've got two jungle cock eyes, obviously both the same length. And uh, what you can do is either put 
short eyes, just two two small eyes or longish eyes. I I like quite a long eye. Uh, sometimes the style of fly like this, but it's entirely up to yourself what you want. Now just pull back some of the fibres, and then get the measure. Just look on top of the the fly, make sure they're both the same length. Bring your bring your thumb in and hold them, and just come round with two or three. Nice tight turns just to make sure they're not going to move. Just check the eyes. If you look at the eyes there, sitting reasonably well. Okay, always keep the thread tight if you can. And then wind down. Now I'm going to fold these back for security, make sure that they're well tied in. And then just form a head. Now you will need to get them down a couple of times, which I usually do. Always keep the thread nice and tight. You can break these off and then what finish. Again, I'm always looking to form that head shape using the turns when I'm tying it all off. Draw your thread and see how it looks now. That looks not too bad. And again, you always get twisted fibres so you can bring these round to set the right way. Now we're going to change the colour of the head and what I'm going to do here is use this is Glow Bright Floss number 4 it's a nice red colour, it's Chinese red anyway now just quickly run the wax through just the once and that gives you a wee bit of grip and then what we do is about halfway up just catch it on like you would do if you were starting to fly looking at probably three turns or so Trim away the waist, keep it tight, and then basically tying it on and tying it off. And like two to three turns is enough. I'll just got a bit of fluff there, pull it away. If you're not happy, you can always go back, you can take this off and start again. And there we are. This just adds a bit of colour, it's really an easy way of doing it. And then what I'm going to do is put some super glue to set this. It sets really hard. It sets fast. So, and then finish off with a coat of varnish. And there, that's your your variant of the the ugly tied space style. And it's based like a the ugly space, if you want to call it. It's a colour what you like, but it's a good colour combination. It's nice fishing style of fly that uh, has to say, become very popular in certain places uh, especially in, in Canada but originally the fly did come from from Iceland so a wee strand of fluff there I'm just going to drop it away now see allow that, it doesn't take long and then all you have to do is basically varnish it until it's finished mm -hmm.